Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's happening? This is your girl, Juliana, the Secret Tarot. Welcome back to my channel, Aries. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. Today is Friday, so happy Friday, you guys. Hope you guys are doing well and blessed and amazing. Your girl is going to get into a quick read for you guys today. All right. Um... Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. I'm also going to announce a winner. I do have a winner um, for another 30-minute read with me, um, which I will be announcing as soon as I'm done praying. So let's get into a prayer, you guys, okay? <sighs> mm, so good to give God thanks. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so you guys just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal one. So with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it may not. Please take what does and leave the rest. Hold on, you guys. I just realized that I didn't light this candle up. All right, so please take what's yours and leave the absolute rest. The rules are always reversing, you guys. Just keep that in mind, okay? Um, if you are here cross-watching, the same applies to you guys as well. Please do not force the reads because it's not meant to be forced. Um, I actually turned my camera going this way because my door is open behind me. And my daughter is going back and forth. So, <laughs> you heard that? You heard that, Nevada? Yeah. <laughs> she heard that. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is not my first daughter that you guys know. Neither is the second one. This is the baby girl. This is, this is, uh, what's your channel name again? I don't even remember. What, the tarot one? Yeah. Uh, the universe tarot. This is the, that's the universe tarot. She has not done a read for you guys in forever. I can't even remember. I can't even remember her her, her channel name, okay? Because she 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 done uh what do you call it? ghosted? She ghosted her channel, y'all. All right. So y'all know that I'm not gonna ghost y'all, okay? I'm I'm never gonna ghost y'all. All right. Hold on. I ain't never gonna ghost y'all. That's 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 on period. Alright, so let's get into a prayer, you guys. Alright. Um, I did get into a prayer already. What am I talking about? Let's get into a read. Personal reading is available on the channel for sure. Alright. And you could always contact me and maybe I've said that already. Um, just by checking in the description of the video. To schedule and to purchase my deck also. And let's see what's coming in here. Alright, angels, Holy Spirit, ancestors. What's the message here, please, for Aries, let me get um, a couple of cards from this deck. This is what I feel like doing. What's the message for Aries, please? And please don't timestamp when the reading started, okay? It doesn't matter. Sometimes people be so petty. Please get started with the reading. Are you paying me to get started? <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Uh, what's the message here for Aries, please? What's the message for Aries? Right off the rip, okay? I'm getting distance and I'm getting open heart. I feel like for some of you guys here, you're either in separation or you're, or you're just in space with this person. I feel like there's either some kind of a blockage here is what I'm picking up, okay? Um, these blockages could be caused because somebody is here in is, is either indecisive or there may be some kind of a third party problems or connections or whatever's happening here. It could be financial reasons why you're, you guys are in separation also. 
It could be anything, but someone needed space here, okay? Someone kind of tapped out or zoned out. Um, I feel like there's a heart that is open, though. The heart that is open is open for reconciliation. It's open for forgiveness, but I'm also seeing receptive here, and I'm seeing empathy, and I'm also seeing vulnerable. For some of you guys, you really want to try to make things work with this person, okay? But I really feel like someone is not trying as hard as you may be trying. Okay. Oh, she left her car door open. The car door open and the sunroof is also open and it's pouring raining outside. <laughs> oh boy. It is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, let's see what's going on here. All right, angels, Holy Spirit, and sisters, and you, Holy Spirit, and sisters, what's the message here, please, for Aries? The page of wands in the reverse. This person is just scared. This person is very scared. They're very afraid to let, to let you in. This person, it's not like they don't love you. They do. But this person is, um, you know, they, they kind of put up barriers or walls or bridges here. Um, and this is why they might have put end to dreams, not only with you, but they might have done that in the past also. Because I'm getting the Page of Wands energy here also with the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're either ready to tie loose ends up or maybe this is them. Something might have wanted to be manifested or you maybe did. But there was an ending of some sort or, or some kind of a manifestation never really manifested the way that you might have wanted it to do or to be. Promises. But I really feel like you need to take control here. The Knight of Cups energy. If you guys are definitely in separation, this person wants to have some kind of a conversation here. I feel like they want to. This person is very charming. Very, very charming. What is the Page of Cups? This person is really thinking about you on the low, low. Uh, why am I picking up pride? There may be some kind of a pride or whatever. This person is filled with pride here. But this pride is causing Arcana, though. You have the judgment here. The Ace of Swords. The, her the world in the reverse with the tower. So something kind of fell apart here because somebody wasn't maybe using their intuition to do something new, into a new chapter. Or for some of you, there was just no communication, no movement here with judgment also being in the reverse. For some of you, I feel like you, you either wanted to meet people or they did. It really did cause a five of swords situation here where there's a seems to be a lot of conflicts or something. I feel like whatever this is though, you have to use your intuition. It's time that you really tap into source. Just trust in yourself. For some of you give advice, but you don't take your own advice here. I'm seeing friendships, I'm seeing accomplishments, I'm seeing celebrations here with the three of cups energy. What is this? What is the Three of Cups with the High Priestess here? What is the Three of Cups with the High Priestess? The Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Ten of Wands with Justice and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. With the Ace of, with the Eight of Swords. I really feel like you're either feeling very overwhelmed, you may be holding on to a situation here that is falling apart. Or maybe for some of you already did. Justice is here to balance it out. Because truth has to come out. There's definitely major blockages here. Because someone is still not trying to make a decision. Or this is you. With the Ace of Swords. With the Eight of Swords also. Someone wants is trying to set themselves free here. Someone wants to set themselves free out of bondage. Lies. Turmoils. Miserable. Being miserable. Haunted by self-doubts here and setbacks. Distance, separation, and space. The Five of Cups in the reverse, abandonment. With the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is definitely not there right now. Or this is you. 
But I really feel like this person is kind of torn. It could be that they're torn about money or having money issues, something that needs to be committed or they need to be committed to a drive, which is getting their life in order, it's being stable or something. Somebody might have suffered some kind of a loss here. The hermit, the magician. But your life is calling for, mani for manifestation. That's on period. I really feel like there's someone might have, might have tried some kind of a spell work or something. Something was done or said or someone just kind of tried to manifest their life in the wrong way. Just saying. I feel like there's a lot of searching happening here. Soul searching here. inner Trying to find inner peace with the situation with the hermit here. Searching for answers and clarity. But the moon, this is whatever that's been searching, whatever... Whatever that someone is searching for, something is hiding. There's a lot of betrayal that's coming in here with this too. And lies. I feel like you need not share any more energy with this with this person I'm at this point. There's an apology that wants to come through also. Some kind of an apology that wants to come through. The seven of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Reverse. The page of cups energy so yeah this is blockages all right so that confirms the blockages and the apology that is holding back so this person is holding back their apology because they think that there's something better out there weighing their options and acting crazy all right with the three of wands it's no no <laughs> no all right I, I feel like they may be rethinking something because something is not working out because it's time to move on it's time to move on from the standing there looking stupid okay all right, and I'm also seeing endings here. You have the page, you have the, the page, you have the five of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, five of pentacles in the reverse, and the three of wands also here with the seven of cups in the reverse. This person think that they has a they <laughs> nothing lasts forever. Okay, whatever that could be, nothing lasts forever. This person thinks that. You know, I could just do this, do that, go here, do that, mess around, do what I want to do. And people still just going to be waiting for me to change. But somebody's about to end something with the Five of Pentacles energy in the reverse. Because whatever this person is doing is causing major blockages and turmoil. All right. So somebody's about to want to end this cycle. Because there might have been some kind of a bloody loss here. A takedown. It could have been a love takedown. A spiritual takedown or whatever. But there was a loss. Someone suffered a loss here that they're trying to fix. Trying to, to rebuild here. And move forward. What is this? The Nine of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So they this person might have lost you already. Or this is you here. But somebody's still thinking marriage here. And wanting something new here. But somebody's filled with promises, though. A lot of promises. They want to share something. What is this? Okay. The two of ones in the reverse. <laughs> uh, somebody's not moving, okay? And I really feel like the reason why there's no movement is because somebody here feels like, what if it doesn't work out? Somebody might have tried to move away from a situation here. This could be a long distance situation. But there's no movement. It's like... I don't know. There's a blockage here. The page of, the page of swords. So this person really takes leaps of faith here with the hangman being here also. And the page of swords energy in the reverse. No way. Because things are falling apart here. With the four ones being in the reverse and the chariot here. So this person is stuck, not moving, or this is you. Determination is needed here. Some of you already know about why the determination is needed because you have a three of swords energy here that confirms a third party, something that is painful or something very hurtful or threatening or whatever that is. Temperance is also here in the reverse on the back of the deck. This is what you didn't see coming. Okay. It's time to let go and time to move forward. Somebody feels hell of a hell of a hell of stuff. My goodness. All right, so you have the five of wands that's coming through. The five of one came through with the eight of cups. 
conflicts betrayed and lies here. There could be a whole bunch of people that's working from the back, the background, trying to cause chaos and disruption and and just craziness. Okay, this is what I'm getting for you. I feel like whatever this five of wands conflicted energies are or is, it definitely have someone leaving or someone leaving someone behind, left behind here. Somebody decides to move on, move forward here, leaving everything in its sight, in its path. What is the five of wands? Or this is you just tired. You're just tired of being sick and tired. All right, so you have the, the knight of wands energy coming through with the death and rebirth with the four of pentacles. So somebody's just tired of having this person holding on to them. This person could be very possessive, very demanding, very cold at times, okay? That is over ending because this is connected to toxicity, all right? There's some kind of a talk, there's some kind of an, a, a return of some sort that has been blocked also, okay? It's a force, because this person wants to come back or it happened very fast, right? And then you have justice also here. So the truth is about to come through. This person is seriously thinking about coming back. They want to plant some seeds. They want to start something new, but there's still a struggle or a juggle here. Something is holding on to this person, having them moving forward here towards you, or this is you. The ace of swords also here. Yeah, that's, that confirms the delay here. Crazy delay, crazy blockages. I feel like someone has not been using their intuition very carefully. I don't know why I'm picking that up constantly. Even though you've thought about things, even though you know what is right for you, someone is still holding back a forward movement of happiness here. Someone is thinking and overthinking and still not having anything done. Yeah, with the star also being here. Blessings, faith, and renewal. It's time that you renew in your strength. That's just how it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? There's no other way. All right, you have the emperor energy that confirms this person's energy is in the reverse. Um, this confirms what I've been telling you all this time. This person is very controlling. Um, whatever they may be doing, this could be spell work attached to this person, very abusive. This person might have put their paws on you or whatever. All right, this person is just not smart at this moment. But it's the emperor energy of vice in the reverse. Okay, so you're trying to resonate with this person as far as getting along with them. This person might have made you happy at one point in time. But this person is still fighting, fighting a, a battle here, fighting with everyone. I really feel like there's definitely a soulmate connection here that fell apart. You have the tower and the two of cubs. So this person will never forget about you. That's on period. This person can never forget about you no matter what they do. If this if, if this person is not married or committed to you, then I feel like they're either married or committed to someone else. That's a confirmation. Also, the Queen of Wands energy. What's the Queen of Wands? Very, very cold energy. All right, yeah. So this, this soul tie connection was very cold here. I feel like it wasn't equal, even though it should have been. That's a soul tie energy. Um, there may, might have been some kind of a commitment that kind of fell short with the Queen of Cups energy. You need to be committed to you at this point. This person is moving forward, moving on. They want to fight for you, but they're not sure how to do that anymore, okay? Only because you have a tower moment here. This is our major arcana, and this is also why your situation is also in the reverse. Um, as far as manifesting something with this person, the devil is here. The devil and the nine of pentacles also here. Wow. All right, so that confirms temptation. It confirms that this you you either need to start over or this is them. It confirms a roadblock. It this it confirms a black of blockages and setbacks. Is what I'm picking up. This could be a person who is dealing with temptation or is dealing with drugs or just being abusive mentally, emotionally, and financially. It could be this person is, is, is really attached to um, toxicity as far as drug addiction or mental takedown or just being weird or dealing with temptation, dealing with their sexuality, not sure, very confused. What is it that they really want here going back and forth? Uh, what is the, the devil? And the nine of pentacles. All right, this person is stuck. The nine of swords. The nine of swords. The six of swords. So you're moving forward. You're letting this go. You you don't care. All right, the debt is over. That's confirmation again. Rebirth. All right, what is this? All right, you got the strength here. The strength in the reverse. 
also with the Four of Cups energy and the Five of Swords. For some of you guys, to deal with major stress here. I feel like this person either ghosted you or this is you, all right? But then you have the Five of Swords energy in the reverse also. Um, there's a day, uh, definitely a major decision that needs to happen here, okay? Because you've been attacked to someone who's wearing a mask here or whatever this person is doing, it doesn't suit you any good. I feel like you're ready to let go because this person is making you feel like you have no confidence as far as your strength is concerned. That's in the reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Herophone. The Herophone with the Page of Pentacles energy. Now, I feel like there's a conversation that is coming. I feel like this person is either going to call you or trying to get the message through to you. But you have to trust your intuition with this one, okay? If your intuition tells you not to do it, don't do it because I do see some kind of a blockage here. You have the Knight of Swords energy in the reverse with the Seven of Swords. Be very careful moving forward. And the, um, also with the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands in the reverse. This person is still struggling, fighting, or whatever they're doing, I don't know. They're maybe not ready because I also have the Ace of Pentacles here. The Ace of Pentacles with the Six, with the Nine of Wands. Fighting the battle is what they're doing internally, okay? And with the Six of Pentacles here also, I feel like you shouldn't invest anything further here until you know for sure what you need to be doing or what you need to be receiving. Whatever this is. All right, tell me more. The Ten of Swords. So if something is ending, it's over, it's done with. Mind game manipulation or whatever that is. Major meltdown or takedown. I feel like you need to move with caution is what I'm picking up for you. Move with caution, okay? Whatever is going on. Whatever this person's mindset. Somebody's just feeling very unsure about what it is that they want. Okay, return to send their energy is off. Somebody's thinking that you might have moved on or you may have done something to them. I thought you did a spell work on me. Whoa. Return to sender. All right, so it's returned. Something is returned. Something is, is done. You may feel like this person might have done something to you. And trust me, they may feel like you might have done something in return. I feel like this is a two-way street here. Because somebody said, whatever you're doing, I'm going to send it back to the sender. It's already sent to the sender. Tell me more. Somebody's mo moving in caution here. Angel said that you need to remain humble, okay? Um, angels of authority, angel, angels of humble. You give me crazy, sad, negative vibes, period. Angels of the decisive. Or some of you may have felt very deceived here by this person. Okay. I had to leave because I need more sex. So this person is definitely dealing with some kind of an addiction here. Betrayed and left for dead. Seven of Swords, energy that's coming through. Um, I feel so jealous towards you. I'm not sure why is this what this person is saying. Can you take me back, please? I'm going crazy. So this person wants to come back because they're feeling very guilty. Angels of Guilt is confirming that. I lied to you over and over and I felt stuck is what I did. Angels of wise. So you have to be wise here. If you're trying to resonate to something new here, you're going to have to be wise moving forward. Extremely wise. Thinking cap. Movement and positivity. Manifesting what you want here. Angels of the flesh. That is what you need to know. 
Somebody was doing some things. Somebody was ripping and running, okay? Angels of adultery. All right, so this person was definitely cheating. Seeing other people married and cheat. That's their status. Married and cheating, okay? All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guys, please clarify these messages, please, for Aries. Please clarify these messages, please, for Aries. Please clarify these messages, please, for Aries. The back of the deck, what you didn't see coming was a fool, okay? There's a whole lot of foolishness in the reverse here. So somebody definitely take, took some kind of a risk here. Um, was very reckless with the relationship. Reckless with your heart. Rec reckless with your mind, body, and soul. And theirs as well, okay? Um, in the recent past, what I do see here is the king of wands energy in the reverse with the nine. With the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the devil. Oh my goodness. You also have the two of cups energy in the reverse with the six of pent, the six of cups also in the upright with the star. What you didn't see coming in the future is the page of pentacles energy here, okay? And then you have the ten of pentacles and then you have the hangman. Moving forward, you have the nine of wands. I will tap into this later on and see what comes to with that, okay? All right, so in the recent past, um... I feel like you might have either tried to take some kind of a re leadership or rulership or this is them um, as far as being a king of wands energy. But however, there was definitely some kind of a lack of vision here. Somebody was just limited to what they thought that they knew. Only because you were attached right here in the recent past with the devil being here, bondages, bondages and addictions like that I told you before. Um... And, and, and people dealing with their sexuality. For some of you on the low low. Okay. Um, I also feel like there was definitely a struggle here. For some of you. You know. This could be a Capricorn. Or this could just be a Taurus. Or this could just be a, a Gemini. Or whatever. Okay. But someone was struggling here with their sexuality. Okay. For some of you may you may know. Some of you might, you might not. Wow, okay. Now, someone definitely decided to put an end to something here in the present, right? Because I'm hearing breakups. I'm hearing something that was very imbalanced or so it felt with the soul tie connection, twin flame connection. Um, I feel like <coughs> you might have suffered a lack of faith moving forward. Because of what this person or how, how their behavior or whatever their intentions were towards you, kind of just kind of lost your faith in believing at, at whatever that the universe had for you, as far as being in despair, feeling very discouraged, or dealing with discouragement. But what I've also seen there, though, in the present, is like if you guys are in separation, because the two of cups really confirm in the reverse that you guys you guys may be in some kind of a separation here. However. I do feel that this person is definitely coming back in. This person wants to either reconcile the relationship or they just want to talk or they just want, or they just feel really bad. They might have felt really bad at the way how they might have treated you, okay? Um, very remorseful. This person wants to, to return to your life. Um, you know, they want to make you some kind of a, some kind of an offer gesture. I'm trying to see where your mindset is then, now, versus what's to come in the future. But here's what you need to know, though. Um, you do have the Page of Pentacles energy here in the reverse. You also have the Ten of Pentacles here also with the Hangman, all right? Um, so it's like sitting there waiting for something. This could be you or whatever's going on. There's a lot of restrictions here. So if you are waiting, are you still going to be waiting for this person to change? You're definitely dealing with, you have to get past this first or this is them. Okay. Which is the devil where something is coming to an end as far as being toxic is. Um, I'm seeing you manifest in your life or this is what you're, you're ordained to be doing. Using your intuition and moving forward. 
um being happy reconnecting with family and friends or just doing big things i'm seeing money coming towards you here maybe you mind thinking about buying a house <clears throat> are you thinking about getting a car or something something that you're trying to manifest here i feel like it's happening it's going to be happening for you just have to be of good courage here um i'm here to just say yes okay um also what you do need to know i'm seeing financial failure here so if you're not um very careful because you have this energy also in the reverse as far as the pentacles is concerned um a very uh, great loss um i do feel like you know you have to kind of reserve your energy moving forward especially because you're dealing with lonesomeness and for some of you you may be dealing with yes you're dealing with loss but you're also dealing with disappointments and setback um and that also includes your financial situations also um and this is where we get rough and rugged with this nine of ones energy this nine of one energy really tells me that you know you have a lot going on around you as far as challenges are concerned okay um you have a lot going around you as far as completing a task in love, in, in person, in whatever. Um, but perseverance is going to get you through because you have to continue to fight. You can't give in. Please clarify this, please, the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands energy is telling me that you know what to do here. You have thought about things. You um, you know, you know the movement, what is necessary for your life at this present moment. Relaxing and rest is, is, is not enough. You've done that. And it's time now to make a decision. I'm seeing changes in your life. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, you've definitely been running into bad luck because this is in the reverse with the strength. Okay, but then the good thing is that you have a world here, and this really tells me that completion is going to make everything right. This is what I've been picking up for you the entire time with this challenge that you've been dealing with with the nine of wands energy, with the the world of fortune, the wheel of fortune in the reverse, with the strength also being the reverse. You're dealing with a lot of doubt, self doubt, like you can't do it, and I'm here to tell you that you can. You can do it. You can do it. There's nothing impossible that you cannot do. Okay. The way to be happy is to make yourself happy with what you got. There's no one in this world that can make you happy but yourself. For some of us, we are just our own setbacks. Like... We just allow people to come in and just abuse our thoughts, abuse our mind, our soul, and our body. Mentally, emotionally, financially. It's like a spiritual takeover. Once you allow anyone to take over your entire life on a spiritual level, it's, you're over. It's done. That's one of the hardest battles you're going to have to fight. When you allow it to get to that point. Because not everyone knows how to get back out of that dark place. Okay? Without hurting somebody else. And I don't know why I feel somebody getting hurt. I don't know why I'm feeling that. All of a sudden I'm just feeling very sad. Like somebody's really thinking about hurting somebody really bad because of the pain that they cause. But I'm here to tell you, don't do it, honey. There's always something better out there. Okay? Alright, that's going to be your read for today, darlings. Um, I love you guys to the moon and stars. I'm going to go ahead and watch a movie. But I am going to do two more reads before I do that, though, alright? Um, I love you guys. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, Life is Juliana, please go over and subscribe to that channel, you guys. Um, I love I love it when you come over and I love it when you guys interact with me over there. So please come over and subscribe and get to know me and join the family on my channel, Life is Juliana. I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Also, if you do need to have a prayer request, no, I didn't even tell you who won. I didn't tell you. I know you guys are saying, didn't you say that you was going to tell us who, who's the winner? Let me go ahead and do that right now. I almost, oh, sorry. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Let me do that right now before I go. So one of you guys, you are going to be winning a 30 minute read with me. All right. I'm going to leave a comment on the winner. Hold on, you guys. I got to get into. Yeah, I have to. Um, 
hold on you guys let me get into I totally forgot I'm wondering if I should just go live and announce it is what I'm kind of wondering you know what no I'm not because then again I won't remember who it was but I might because I'm gonna do it with my phone in my hand right you know what you guys I'm just gonna go in and just do a live real quick after this I'm doing live real quick after this all right um but it's an Aries though for sure okay so I'll see you guys in the next one um until then always remember to seek first and you always find bye guys let's see if this thing is gonna work here or I might just have to get up and turn it off